Captain's Report, February 4th, 2531. Five years. Five long years. That's how long it took us to remake the UNSC Paris class frigate. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is the final day of the 12 days of Christmas tutorials. This is the UNSC Paris class frigate in 1 to 10 scale, something that a lot of people have been waiting a long time for. It's been about five years, five long years since we actually did the previous model of this. And this new one is finally here. I mean, it's been like two years since we did the previous frigate model, which was the new, um, either this one or this one, I can't remember. So yes, this is a long time coming. Um, the reason why it's taken so long, I think on two occasions I did this tutorial previously. Um, the first one I got to about here, realized I did something wrong, had to start again. And then about a year later, I came back to it, did it again, got to about here and realized again I'd done it wrong. And then I just lost all interest in doing it again after that. But I finally come back and done it for the Christmas tutorials and I'm really happy to say that this time it does work out. I'm recording the intro after I've done the tutorial this time, um, just because I was fed up of recording intros that never actually had a build to go along with them. So, yeah, you might hear throughout this build I sound a bit ill. I am a tiny little bit, but it's not too bad. Um, it's not really that noticeable. Just a little bit of a blocked nose, I think. So, yeah, whatever. Throughout the build, I will mention, you know, about the Christmas tutorials, and I may say that this is going to be day number nine. Obviously, it's not. This is day number 12. Um, I recorded this straight after the Hornet video that we did for day number eight. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to have it straight after or leave it till the last day. Um, I've decided to do it obviously on the 12th video rather than the 9th. So yeah, just ignore anything I say past this point because that was recorded before, before this. Um, anything else? No, I don't think so. I think that's all I wanted to say. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and let's crack on with the first layer. And Merry Christmas, because by now it should be the 24th, I think is, is the date this is going to go out, but I guess you'll see, won't you? Anyway, let's go. Okay, for layer number one, you're going to need only three materials. That's going to be cyan terracotta, stone slab and stone brick wall. Now, if you're building this in the air, of course, just to start well, in the air. I'm going to be starting on the uh, ground layer there just for just for tutorial purposes. Um, green line is going to be the front of the build, just remember that. And red line is going to be the back, so don't build back to front, obviously. This is going to be five cyan terracotta in a row with stone brick wall on the back. And then top half stone slabs, one, two, three, four on the front, like that. And then four on the front on this side. And that is literally going to be it for layer number one. So let's move swiftly on to layer number two. All right, layer number two, you'll need polished andesite, cyan terracotta, white concrete, stone stairs, stone brick wall, stone slab, and a temporary block. I'm using sponge. I said ages ago I was going to use sponge as the temporary block in builds, and now I am. So, yeah, awesome. Do the stone brick wall on top of the one we did before, and then cyan one is going to go there, and then two and three and four. Two polished on either side. This is going to be a stone slab here. And then you're going to need to do another cyan just there with stone stairs upside down, one, two, and three, just like that. Do a stone stair upside down there and there as well. And that's it for the main body for this one. However, we've got to start the sort of wing or engine covers on this uh, on this layer. So grab the temporary block. That's going to be one, two, and three. And then one on either side, just like that. So make a little T-shape, just like so. And then next to the T-shape, you need to do a gap of one, gap of one, and gap of one again. So one, two, and three, so just like that. And then this is gonna be white concrete, stone stairs there, stone brick wall on the back. Again, just like that. Okay, and that is gonna do it for layer number two, so let's move on to layer number three. Okay, layer three, keeping the same materials. I just added the uh, iron bars here. You'll need the temporary blocks again. 
stone stairs one and two there, cyan, and then this is going to be a stone full block, so just add that as well. Um, this is going to be polished on the side on either side, and then a stone brick wall here, cyan in the middle. And um, do another two cyan there, two stone blocks, and then this is where the iron bars are going to go, just like that. Okay. With the sponge again, you can just map out the same um, temperate blocks as before. You don't really need to, um, but just to keep it sort of on the same layer, you might as well. You'll need quartz stairs here. This is for the uh, kind of white stripe that goes down the side of the engine. So there's one there, stone stair here, upside down stone stair facing towards the front. This is a cyan terracotta block and then a stone stairs facing backwards. And again, one there, stone on the left, upside down there, cyan, stone stairs back like that. Okay, and that's gonna do it for layer number three, so let's move on to layer number four. All right, this next one, taking polished andesite stone, cyan terracotta, gray concrete, quartz stairs, stone stairs, stone slab, stone brick wall, and the temporary block again. Doing a cyan there with stone brick walls on either side. There's quite a lot of temporary blocks on this one, so just bear that in mind. Um, there's two stone blocks here, and then upside down stone stairs one and two, with a cyan in the middle. Stone block there, and then stone stairs one, two, and three upside down top half ones like that. Okay, grey concrete, one and two there, two there. And then this is three stone brick walls with a stone block in the middle there like that. Okay. Right, taking the temporary block now, coming to this stone block here, we're going to do a gap of one, gap of one again. And we're going to do another gap of one, gap of one again, so you've got um, four there in total. Okay, doing an extra one here, gap of one, just one there like that. This is going to be a stone stairs upside down. You kind of need to go um, like that. And this one's a sideways one like so. Three quartz stair goes there. Stone stairs, one, two, and three normal ones like that. Then take the sponge. That's going to be one gap of one, gap of one. Ignore the uh, horn up there. I haven't done the material of the list yet for that. Um, stone slab top half one like that, the stone stairs there, corner one there like so. Okay. Come to this one here, and you can do a row of temper blocks across, um, just to kind of measure out to make sure we've got the right amount. Um, obviously we've done one half, so we'll do the other half now. Um, there is one little thing here actually before we do that, that's going to be a uh, polished deep slate slab, one there, one there, and then a dark oak slab one there and one, uh, not dark oak, <laughs> dark oak trap door, sorry, there and there. Um, do the same on this side, we'll do the uh, dark oak and deep slate bit first. So those are both top half, remember, one and two, one and two, so we've got that bit out of the way. So it's an extra one there and then one. This is your um, corner stair, two, three, normal quartz stair, one, two, three, one, skip one, and skip one, and then it's the slab, stair, and corner stair. Now if we just do the gaps of one between these, I'll tell you how many there should be. Um, oh god, I can't do this very well. There we go. So, based on my reference, that should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in total of these sponge blocks here. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Perfect. Um, fun fact, well, not so fun fact, this tutorial would have come out about two years ago, three years ago maybe. Um, however, I messed up the tutorial process about halfway through twice, and at that point I was just like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I don't want to repeat this build process ever again. That's why it's taking so long. 
Um, I don't know what I kept messing up. I think I did something wrong with the body here. Made it a bit too short. Um, but yeah, essentially that's the reason why this has taken such a long time. But with that, that is going to do it for that layer. So let's move on up to layer number five now. Okay, next layer up. So let's start with a set of two grey concrete here and a stone block and then three stone brick walls. Taking the stone brick walls again, one and two, sign in the middle. And stone on either side, polished andesite on either side here. And then a cyan in the center there. This is going to be a stone block, a stone stairs on either side. And then this is a set of two ups or down stairs like that. Okay. Taking the temporary block, we're going to go to here and do one and two gaps like that. One and two. Okay, so that should be three blocks in total, basically. Um, but then you're going to skip another one, so make it four. And this one's going to be grey concrete. You're going to do two on the left of that, and then one, two, and three on the right. So it should be in line with that stone block there. Do the same thing here. So it should be six. Okay. Taking the cyan. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five. And five again. I will get rid of some of these temporary blocks because they are getting a bit um, a bit bad on the eyes. Okay, so you've got that. Stone stairs, three upside down ones. And then two stone slabs, top half behind those. Okay. Taking smooth stone slabs this time. That's going to be one and two. And then a stone stair is going to go facing that way. Do a cyan, two stone blocks, then a uh, white concrete, stone, cyan, stone. This is top half smooth stone slabs five, one, two, three, four, five. And then this is polished stone, polished. Okay. So you can kind of see the engine uh, covers are, are being built up now, which is, which is good to see. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Um, I'm not sure if at a certain point I will start just doing half of the build on camera and then flipping or maybe speeding up half the build um, because this is a fairly large one um, I think it's 53 and a half blocks long or I might have rounded it to 54 I'm not sure I can't remember it's been so long since I built the base model that I just <laughs> yeah, just don't know um, so just yeah, mirroring over what we've got. It is a symmetrical build, so anything you do on one half can be just flipped over to the other half. And there we go. I think that's everything. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it again for that layer. So let's move on up to the next one, which is going to be layer number six now already. We're making good progress. Okay, so just keeping the same set of materials as before pretty much. Um, coming to here and doing a polished andesite 1 and 2 on top of the walls. And then in front of that, 2 grey concrete on either side. This is going to be a sign 1, 2 and 3 with stone brick walls in those gaps. This is a polished andesite. I think that's where I slipped up actually last time. I don't think I did the um, polished andesite blocks, which then ruined the entire thing. That's a stone slab smooth and um, top half on both of those. Do two stone blocks here. And this is an upside down stair facing towards the back this time. So you should get that essentially. Okay, that's a set of one and two stone blocks here. Cyan terracotta one and two. Stone brick wall, stone brick wall. And just briefly throw away that stone brick wall and put a skeleton skull just there. Okay. So, from there, let's take our temporary blocks again. So actually, just keep the uh, stone brick wall out of the inventory for a minute. That's going to be one, two, and three temporary blocks like that. Okay, and then we're going to take stone slabs here. And that's going to be uh, three, four, seven, I think. Seven of those. And then a smooth stone slab just there. Then coming to here, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are all top half, by the way. And then iron trap door, one and two. 
with the iron trap doors again. That's going to be another seven. Yep, seven there. And then with the smooth stone slabs again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Five iron trap doors, top half on this side and on that side as well. So should end up with this. And that's going to do it for the front end for this one. Going to the engines, taking the temporary block once more. Um, I think I know where, where to build this anyway, but just for your reference, I suppose. That's four of those here. And four again. Taking the cyan. That's going to be one past that towards the front. And then two, three, four, five. And just leave it at six for now. And on this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Taking a polish and the site block, that's one and two. Stone stairs there. And then we're going to take the, uh, where is it? Polished deep slate stairs, two there. We'll do the same here just real quick. Yeah, make sure to do it on um, this inside one, not on this bit here, because we uh, that's where the engine covers are basically. Um, okay, from there, taking our quartz stairs again. That's going to be one facing outwards, just there. And then with the stone stairs, um, if you grab those, that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then, oh god, there's loads on the back half. Might have to come back to that in a minute. Taking the upside down stairs here, one, two, three, four, five. This is quartz stairs, one, two, and three. Do another normal stair like that. And let me just count this out. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six normal stairs. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is going to be a corner one like that. And then this is going to be three normal stairs here. And then another corner one, just like that. And then on the inside, it's just a load of stone stairs like so. If you want to add andesite stairs here as well, just to give it a sort of mixture of materials, you can do that. I just wanted to keep it a bit simpler because adding stuff like that would double the runtime. Um, and that's a similar thing to what I'm going to do with uh, any larger builds going forward. If if um, the original model has like all these texture materials that don't really add much, it's just sort of like a, a little, well, a little bit more texture, I suppose then they will be excluded, but I will tell you sort of where they should be included and things like that. So for these stone stairs here, you can definitely mix andesite stairs in, maybe even stone brick stairs if you want to, um, just to give it a little bit more of a, a texture than just stone. Um, but yeah, that's just an idea, I suppose. So that's the engine cover bit done. You can see kind of what we got going on here. For the inside now, um, taking the Sign terracotta again, that's going to be three just there. Three here, and then three top half stone slabs. So we're going to quickly just do it on the other side, um, just like that. And then it should be easier this time because I know kind of what we're supposed to do. Um, so I won't speed up. Normally I would speed up during sections like this. Um, so. As I record this, um, we're actually on day number nine. This would theoretically be day number nine of the Christmas tutorials. Whether or not it ends up being number nine or if I leave it until last, I suppose we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is why the Hornet is still here is because I'm recording it straight after. But obviously it depends on recording time, editing time. Um, I was talking, I got distracted, so I need to uh, just double check this. I think it's that one that's a corner. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, so that one's a corner stair, remember, and this one is also a corner stair here. Um, but other than that, I think that's it for both of those. And that is going to do it for that layer, I believe. So let's move on up to the next one. Okay, so starting this one off. Um, first thing you want to do, actually, I've, I've already changed this, but the stairs were previously that way. They actually want to be that way, just on that single block. Um, so just bear that in mind. Polished andesite, we're going to start with that. Cyan, stone, it's going to be cyan. Polished, stone, two polished here. This is going to be a smooth stone slab. 
take a iron trap door. That's going to be three. Skip one, three again, two stone slabs, and an iron trap door there as well. Okay, same thing again. We'll just uh, make sure we keep on track. So two polished, stone, polished, cyan, stone, cyan, polished. Okay. So in this gap here, we are going to take a uh, quartz slab. And that's going to be a top half one there. Top half one there. And that's actually the bottom of the upper um, armor coat, I guess, for the for the, uh, for the the engines. I'm not sure where I was going with that sentence, but yeah, sure. Anyway, coming back to, uh, to here, we are going to go adjacent to where this uh, smooth stone slab is and do three cyan one there so it should be sort of carrying on that slope with the uh, with this with the stone slabs and then also three stone slabs on the back here taking the stone stairs you're just going to bring this all the way to the front until we get to there and then stop and then again on this side we are also going to take an observer that's going to go there not there, sorry. You need to kind of have it like... Yeah, there you go. You want that side at the front. Same again. We'll just do the observer bit first. I know the um, the next layer also has an observer directly on top of this one. I'm not going to place it yet. But um, just if you want to do it now while you have the observer, then go for it. So just straight on top of that one. Okay, do the same here. So one just there, and then the stone stairs will join up with the other one. Not too, uh, not too difficult on this layer for the for the wings and the engines and stuff. So it's not bad. Coming to here now, we're going to take Sign Terracotta do a set of three, and then we are going to take the uh, polished deep slate stairs again and do one there, three here with Cyan, one there as well. So you want it exactly in line with the um, with the grey concrete from before. Taking the sign again, that's going to be three extra on the back. Three again. Top half stone slab. And then just grab the temporary block. There's going to be one. Skip one. Skip one. So five in total. Two top half stone slabs there as well. Coming back to here. Three and three. Now taking the levers, that's going to be two. Two. Two and two, all facing upwards, so just keep them like that. Okay, stone block here and here. Stone stairs, one and two. And then these are sideways stone stairs, so two like that, two like that. If it makes it any easier, by the way, you can add sign in there just to make it easier to place those, I suppose. Um, do another stone stairs just there like that. And then taking the smooth stone slab, one, Two, one, two, three. With the iron trap door, that's one, two, and three. And then with the stone slab, one. Actually, no, that's a full block. Ignore me. So one full block there. Then with the stone stairs, one and two. This is stone slab, top half, one and two. And then this is actually a bottom half stone slab just there. So there's like an underhanging bit here, which is what we're working on now. That's a polished andesite full block. Stone stairs there and there. And then polished andesite one and two, one and two. Cyan, two, two. Stone block, two and two. Now, cyan, terracotta, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And do three here. Then with the polished deep slate stairs, that's one, two, three and four and again two three four taking the levers one two three one two and three okay finally for this layer that's going to be two and two cyan a stone and then this is a stone brick wall if you can grab one of those two there Grey concrete goes here, and then this is two top half polished deep slate slabs. Okay, 
Now we've pretty much got most of the length of the ship now, which is um, which is good. It just means the layers are quite a bit longer now, um, both physically and in time sense. But yes, the the build is fairly large. Um, again, I'm going to remove a lot of these temporary blocks, um, so like those ones and the ones under there, and we can crack on with the with the next layer. Um, so yeah, let's let's do that. Okay, so we're now starting on those uh, those layers that make you want to cry. Um, yeah, this one's going to be pretty difficult, but we'll we'll get through it. I'm going to start by taking the observer again and just putting it there, and then an upside down stair next to it. That's sort of like a reference point for the engines for this one. And um, again, just do the same on this side. I want to try and do both at the same time. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to stop saying you know like if I do it here, I'm not going to keep saying and do it on this side as well. It just it gets tedious. It's just wasting my breath, really. Um, as I said, it's symmetrical, so just you know, do everything on both sides. So bring this all the way to the back. Um, you want to take it one further, so keeping that slope going, and then just bring that back to the uh, to the front there. Okay, so I also recommend putting one on that stone slab. Um, just to I don't know, keep it covered up, I suppose. So just like that. Taking the stone slab again, that's going to be one. And then with the stone stairs, you kind of want to do it facing that way. Okay, and then taking the... Uh, okay, so you need the, the, the slabs now. These ones that are down here. Polished deep slate. That's going to be top half. One, two, three. Okay, and then with the cyan terracotta, the engines are asymmetrical, but obviously they, they mirror over. Um, it's not a major difference, but you want to do two cyan there, two cyan on this one. Um, grab a chiseled stone brick. And that goes just on the inside one. Because in this one you get a, um, a skeleton skull. Ideally, it would be two, two skulls in there, but you, you just can't fit that in one block. So it's just one smaller engine, one medium-sized one, and then the, the big one on top. Um, on the actual model, there's two little ones, and then like a medium, and then a, a big one. So yeah, oh well. Stone brick wall goes on either of those as well. All right, and then once we've done this, we'll just move on with the next bit, which is going to be the armor on the outside. Um, you also need a polished andesite slab, which is a new one for this build, I think. That's top half on each of those observers, just like that. Taking the cyan terracotta, that's going to be one, two, and three. And then one, two, and three. With the polished andesite full block, that's one, two, three, and four. And then a stone stairs facing upwards like that. With the white concrete now, one there. Quartz stairs is going to go there and that way. Actually, it might be a full block actually of quartz. Let's, uh, let's grab a full block of quartz. So one and two like that. Yeah, I think it's on the next layer that they're stairs, so... Yeah, just bear that in mind. Two polished andesite, smooth stone slab, two iron trap doors. We are gonna then. Oh, I can't tell if you skip one there or not. Hmm. That's really awkward. I think you do skip one. So one stone stair there. One, two, three, four. Polished andesite, and then a stone stairs upside down like that. Yeah, you definitely must skip one, because otherwise that wouldn't line up properly. Okay. Um, again, same on this side. So one, two, three, four. The... Uh, let me grab these again. Block of quartz, one and two. With the white concrete in the middle. Two polished andesite full blocks. Smooth stone slab, two iron trap doors. Skip one. One, two, three, four, and then a stone stairs. Okay, so it should look like this so far. All right, and 
on this one. Okay, cool. Right, now for the <laughs> body. Two grey concrete on either of those should line up perfectly with the cyan here. Taking the cyan itself, that is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that. Okay, and then on the back side here, do a two by three and another two by three. So I guess a four by three. Um, top half stone slabs three, cyan three, top half stone slabs three, cyan three, three, three. So three by three there. This is stone brick walls. Again, three stone stairs, top half, top half stone slab here and then finally do a birch sign um, just facing those two like that okay right <laughs> next up stone brick stairs grab those and that's gonna be one there oops oh god one two and three like that that's what you want to do and then with the stone brick walls, two and two. So those levers should basically join up with it. And um, do the same on this side. So two and two. This time take the levers and we're going to do three of those on either side. Like that. And then coming down to here, taking the stone block. That's one and two. And I'm just double checking one thing before we move on. Uh, do another stone in the middle and then three here and then on this side we're going to bring the stone forward just take it to about about there and again same on this side take it to about there and just leave it there for now and um, we're just going to use it as a reference point i suppose with the stone stairs there's going to be one just here facing forwards upside down and then five normal ones upside down like that. Taking the cyan, that's one and two. One and two. And then with the normal stone stairs again, top half, upside down, whatever. That's four of those, like that. Okay, so that bit's uh, that bit's out of the way, I guess. With the stone brick walls now. This is definitely a regular tutorial at the very least, if not hard. It could even fall under the hard ca category because it is quite difficult. There's a sign block there, stone brick walls next to it, remember. Um, with the stone stairs now, we're going to do one, two, and three like that. Okay. With the smooth stone slab, that's three. Three again. Three. Um, yeah, there's a lot of threes in this build, isn't there? It's it's all, all multiples of three or some sort of... Yeah. Three stone slabs. And then three normal stairs facing towards the front. That's three smooth stone slabs on either side. And again with the normal ones. Actually, no, I've just completely messed that up. Take stone block one and two. Grey concrete. This is going to be one and uh, two, three, four five and six just do six for now it's getting really hard to see the uh, the angles on this because the build is so long my reference image is just not doing many favors for me three iron trap doors go there and then this is a stone brick wall on either side a polished andesite full block and um, if you grab one of those from somewhere there we go and then, God, yeah, I can barely see that. I think it's an iron bar. And if you grab that. So iron bar goes there and there. And then I'm probably just going to have to come back to uh, that very front bit, bit in a minute. Um, so let me just quickly pause. Because I can do that now. I can pause without ending the take. So, Okay, yeah, so it's a um, polished deep slate stairs there. And then a end rod just there like that. And... 
There's a reference point, to be fair. You can do a stone slab smooth there on the uh, next layer as well, because I know that's there for a fact. So we can use that, I suppose, when we get to the next one, which is, again, going to be a bit of a bit of a difficult one. Um, the last thing we need to do, really, is the start of the hangers on the side. So there's going to be a smooth stone slab at one and two, just there. And then two again. And then one. Do an extra one just here. Taking the uh, normal stone slabs, that's one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four there like that. Taking the smooth stone slabs again, one, two, three, one there. Do another one, two, three, one there. And then this is going to be two, two, and two, one there. Iron trap door, iron trap door. Okay, iron trap door is also going to go in this gap here. Taking the emeralds again. Two and two. One more time um, on the outside layer here. That's two polished andesite slabs, one and two there. And these are all iron trap doors going the rest of the way, all the way up to there. All right, so again on this side. Two, one. One extra here. We'll do the iron, uh, the end rods to begin with this time. And also this iron trap door that goes there. That's one, two, three, four. Four here. Smooth stone slab, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. With one, two, three, four, five there, and two iron trap doors. And then just doing the polished andesite slabs too. And this goes all the way across. I think that's everything mirrored over there. Um, yeah, yeah, it should be. I have done worse tutorials. It's not too, it's not too difficult. Well, it is, but you know, we did this six hour Millennium Falcon. So I've had worse. Anyway, that is going to do it for that layer, so let's move on up to the next one, which I don't know what number it is, but it's something. It will come up on screen. <laughs> okay, at this point, I'm not even bothering with the material list on the on the bottom because it just doesn't matter. We need, like, everything. Starting off, one, two, three, four bottom half stone slabs there. We already had these ones here, so don't need to do those again. Um, let's see where we can even start, to be honest. I guess if we go to here, we can do these end rods. That's three. Kind of like a rib cage. If you look on the actual model, it does have like a rib cage going on. So it's, yeah, that's there. With the stone brick walls um, next to the rib cage. I, I'm going to stop calling it that now. That's three and then two there. Just like that. With the science terracotta, that's going to be two and two. Take your stone block. And that's two here, three here, and then two stone brick walls um, are going to go on the back there like that. Okay, so just like so. Okay, taking the stone again, that's one, two, and three. Three here. And this stone block goes all the way um, to the front there. Just leave it leave it here so that should be nine extra I know it's a bit more but I, I, I don't know exactly what it is yet so I'll have to work that out um okay taking the observers now we need quite a lot of these these are going to represent the sort of hanger doors you can have these facing either way I'm gonna do them this way for now and um, we need and I'm gonna count these up actually two four six a 10 12 so 2 4 6 a 10 12 that should be right yeah it should line up with the iron truck doors we did before so just like that with the stone block do two here two here and then one two three and four and um, just there like that one two three four five six two here 
we can join this one up now. That goes to the same level as that one, just for now, and then we'll um, change that in a, in a minute. So just like so. Take the stone brick wall, that's gonna go there. And we also need the iron bars once more. That's gonna be two of those. And then just add an extra set of one stone here, one stone here, get the observers back, and we're gonna put those facing inwards like so. Okay. Take dark oak sign, that's one and two. One and two, and then just do the uh, same thing on this side. Now we need polished andesite stairs, which I, I don't know if we've used them on this build already, I can't remember. Taking the polished andesite stairs, that's gonna be one, skip one, 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 and just keep doing that. And then on the other side, do the exact same thing. So you should end up with that. Again, Perfect. Okay, um, on the inside here we're going to take the dark oak trap doors and that's one, two, three, four and five. Flip those up. So just like that. Covers up the inside of that observer then. So that's, that's why I did that. And this is going to be a... Oh god, I can't even tell what that is. Again, I'm going to pause um, one second. Okay, right, so it's stone brick walls. You just need like a load of those. It was weird on the reference picture I'm using. It, it looks like slabs, which is really strange. Do another um, stone block here first on either side and then just fill this with stone brick walls. Um, you may be able to remove some of these afterwards. I'm not sure if this is just a remnant of when I first built this. Um, but yeah, it, lo it looked really weird. It looked like these were slabs and that was one stone brick wall. That's why I had to pause. It's very strange. Um, I would also recommend just putting a set of stone blocks across here as well. I think I was meant to do that to be fair last layer. That would cover up the underside um, a bit better. Taking the sign terracotta, that's two, and then two stone brick walls, and one on the front just like that. Okay. Right, so that's the front half of that done. <laughs> This is probably the, the most difficult of the layers, to be honest, or the most time consuming at least. With the cyan, that's two and two. Stone brick wall goes there on either side. Grey concrete, um, again, two of those. This time taking the stone slab, that's going to be one and two bottom half ones, two smooth stone slabs there. Just like that with the polished andesite now. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Take the sign again. One, two, three. Three there. Skip one. Do one on either side. Skip one, one on either side. And then we're gonna skip three and do a set of three here. Okay. Stonebrook wall there and there. Cyan is gonna go there and there. Polished andesite again, one, two, three, four. We're connecting the engines to the main body now as well, which is good. That's going to be three stone blocks and then four stone blocks here. This is going to be another cyan, just like that. Another cyan there, another cyan there. Again, three stone four stone here, do a stone block in this gap and this gap, so you're left with a 4x3 gap now, you want to add another set of uh, three here on the front side, and again, so you should be left with a 3x3 three three area now, there's going to be two polished andesite on the wing side, or the engine side, I guess, this is going to be two stone slabs there, two there as well, top half. This is going to be a set of corner stairs, so one there, one there, and then that's a middle one. You need to do it exactly that way, because when I show you from the underside what it looks like, um, you, you'll be able to see. So it should look like that. Okay. Right. 
taking the stone slab again. One, two, and three there. One, two, and three here. All right. So I think that's it for the main main body. Now let's do the engines. That's going to be one here. Um, oh, actually, there is something. I may need to pause again. That's really annoying. I'll come back to it in a second, actually. Um, just something to do with this bit here. But again, I'll come back to that later. Three go here with cyan. This goes all the way to the front again. And again with this side. I'm just going to leave it there for now. Um, actually, that where it, that's where it needs to be, so that's good. One stone block in the middle. Stone stair on either side. This is a polished andesite. And then a polished andesite stairs. And again do the same. There we go, just like that. For the engine um, covering again, this time it's a stone stairs here. In fact it might be easy to do it on the right because my reference image is, is angled better that way. So I'll do the right side first and then and then the left. So it's a stone stair, polished cyan two stone blocks this is where we do the upside down um, well not upside down but yeah like this with the with the quartz stairs that's what I did on the previous layer when I made a mistake but just like that I'm going to do the uh, the white bit on the other side as well just so that I don't have to get those materials again for this layer here we go so that's that bit there's going to be a stone block one cyan four polished andesite and then four top half smooth stone slabs so it should take you up to there again on this side we'll do the same thing and um, so it was polished cyan to stone uh, stone there cyan and then polished one two three four four smooth stone slabs like that okay Taking the cyan, one, two, three, uh, four, and five. This is going to be a polished andesite here. And then take the uh, deep slate stairs again. That's going to be one, two, three, four top half like that. Four top half like that. Stone brick wall there. Stone brick wall there. Okay, and again on the other side, um, one, two, three, four, five, upside down, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, stair, uh, wall there, wall there, polished andesite, and then this is a stone brick wall just on the very back, one and two. Okay, so I'm just going to double check what this bit is here and then we'll be done with the layer, so let's do that. Okay, so for this bit here, we're actually going to remove that and that and put a stair face in each other. And again, same thing. Okay, that's fine. Um, and yeah, I think that pretty much does it for this layer. So I'm just giving it a double check on the model. I think that's everything. Now, if you want to fill this bit in here with something just so you can't risk seeing through those walls. I don't think you can anyway, but just in case, put some gray concrete there. And um, that's one thing you can can do. Um, I'm just checking the front. I, yeah, I think that's everything. Cool, let's move on to the next layer. Okay, again, next one up, we're gonna start with the, uh, the same materials. Starting at the engines, we'll get these, get these sorts first. Um, four of the cyan there, four there as well with polish and a site on either side and also a stem brick wall on each of those as well. Okay. From there, another stem brick wall on either side like that with a sign in the middle. And then this is gonna be three here and then just bring this all the way um, to the front. Just leave it around that point again, just like that. This is going to be a polished underside just there with a stair here and then a stone stairs there and there. Also do a stone block just on this one. 
Um, same again. We'll do this quickly, get this out of the way. So yeah, again, it's just kind of sloping um, from the previous layer, so just kind of work from that, I suppose. So it should look like this. Okay, this is where we actually do the, I guess, the, the engine part of it. Um, you know, I'm not a mechanical engineer, I don't know what every, everything's called. But this is a sea lantern, just there. There we go. And then I used a light blue stained uh, glass block. And also two um, light blue stained glass panes now. The thing is, they connect now, which I guess is okay in a way, but intentionally, like, well, the intention was originally when I built this in 1.12 to have those kind of stick out, like, just without connecting to the walls. But it still looks fine. Um, it's just a, a note that they are meant to be kind of not connected. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. Take the stone block. Bring this all the way across. This is going to go to... Um, or is it block, actually? I think it's stair. I think it's a stone stair. I just forgot to mark it out. So it's upside down stone stairs like that. And these go all the way across until you get to the... Um, the white bit here. So just keep going with that. Until we get to here. And then this is a quartz stair. And then carry on with the stone until we get to there. Okay. This is going to be a quartz stair facing outwards, um, upside down, just there like that. And on this one, with a white concrete in the middle. Polished andesite blocks, two there, three here. Stone blocks, that's going to be one. Or is it blocks? Actually, it might be stairs. Stone stairs, one, two, three. Stone brick wall, one and two. And then another one here with a skeleton skull just there. Okay. Right. All right, I'm going to quickly do that on the uh, the other side now. So, yeah, let's, let's do this. Um, it was just one upside down stair there. I'll use this time to talk, actually, um, but I don't really know what to say. So, yeah, again, as I mentioned earlier, I don't know which day this is going to go out in terms of the Christmas tutorials. It might be, um, you know, like the the 9th, 10th, or 11th one. Um, with it being a large one, I might save it for number 12. However, I did have something different in mind. So, I guess you'll see, um, because if not, you know, this, this might be you know, on the 24th, which is meant to be the final day. But I guess we'll we'll just see what happens. Um, I'm going to be doing more Halo stuff now, especially since Infinite's out. There's a lot of new things I can make. Um, I just need, like, an idea of the measurements. I have been in-game and tried to, like, figure out how big things are. But I feel like if I estimate it, like, the minute I actually publish it, they're going to release measurements, um, which will just make things, you know, annoying. Um, so that's both sides for that done. One last thing is just to take stone stairs, one there, and corner it. Again, just like that. Okay, so that's the outside engine bit done for that one. Um, right, so from there, we are going to do the kind of opposite of what we did here, or upside down at least. I would start with the four polish and the site like that, and then just do the stair here upside down and then one that way and then one stone slab like that do a, a polished and full block here as well two cyan there this is going to be a stone block cyan stone block cyan stone block again two and three cyan goes there this is going to be a stone block here cyan goes there stone block here four polished andesite like that and then this is top half, two stone slabs, two smooth stone slabs. And then two grey concrete here. We're going to quickly mirror that over, just so I don't, again, get sidetracked. And uh, I don't want to get too far behind. So 
So just like that, that was three and one, and then one and one there, one and one there. Um, yeah, I wanted to do more Halo stuff because, you know, obviously my channel started with it and I feel like I have been neglecting it a little bit since, uh, well, it was mainly the fact that there just wasn't much out. You know, Halo Wars 2 was out, but there was no measurements for anything. Um, so I just, yeah, I wasn't feeling very inspired with it, whereas Star Wars is like, there's measurements for like everything, pretty much everything. So it's a lot easier. And I, I like working in scale. I think it's definitely better than working in non-scale like I used to. Um, okay, so, right. We need two more stone blocks here and there as well. And we're going to do basically the mirror of what we did down here. Um, actually, that's a lie because I changed it. On the old model, it was a mirror. On this one, it's slightly different. So this is the same with the stairs in like a sofa shape like that <laughs> uh, on both sides. There's a set of two smooth stone slabs here. And then this time we're going to take the um, polished deep slate stairs and do those facing inwards. Like that. Yeah, on the um, kind of, I guess, prototype model of this, the one that I, I did the tutorial for before that got deleted because I messed it up, that was the same as on the underside, but I have updated it since then. There's going to be three cyan, one stone brick wall on either side. And then this is going to be just a, um, a grindstone. And you just need one of those. But you want it facing the um, opposite direction. So you kind of need it like that. Okay. Right. Take the sign again. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Do one, two, one, two. Join that up. Alright, I'm just checking the back end is done before we move any further forward, um, I think so, I can't see anything that's missing. Okay, taking the cyan, one, two, and we're going to do an extra one, two, three, four, so six in total. Two stone brick walls here, and then we're going to finish up that rib cage bit by um, putting levers next to those M-Rods like that. Okay, another stone brick wall goes there on either side. Three stone blocks. And then this is where we do more of those stone brick walls. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is a stone stair just like that. And then smooth stone slab, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Take the stone block that's going to go just here and bring that all the way across just to there and again this final one is going to be a polished andesite block that goes there and there okay another stone brick wall on either side stone stairs there stone stairs there and then this is going to be gray concrete we need quite a bit of this I'm going to start just here and do one, two, three, four, five. I can't even tell how many that is actually. Um, I think it goes to about here. Um, but we are going to leave it there for now. In fact, add one, one more, one more. We'll do the side bits. So, taking the stone block, one goes here. Bring this all the way across. Big long set of stone here. Bring it to the same level as where that stone brick wall is. Yeah, there we go. And then after that stone brick wall, where these stairs are, there's going to be three stone slabs and a iron trap door to finish that bit off. So just there. Again, take the iron trap doors once more. That's three here, three on that side. That's a stone slab just there, and then a stone stair, and then a stone block. This is a cyan, three stone, cyan, stone, cyan, three stone, two cyan. 
on the outside here, we are going to take the polish and side stairs. That's going to be three. Skip two and do two. Skip two and do three. And then finally, this is two polished andesite slabs, um, which we will grab from there. Nope, there. And then these gaps are stone stairs. So again, we'll do the same thing. We'll do the cyan first. The stone block starts there. That's a stair, that's a slab. That's two polished andesite slabs. Three, one, three, three, two, 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 and then three stairs to finish that off. So you can see that's all built up now, nice and um, nice and solid, <laughs> looking good with the hangers. Um, so yeah, we just need to do this front bit now. I'm going to quickly pause again, just check how many of those we need, and we'll be right back. Right, so this is actually where it needs to go to. You just want to do a white concrete on either side of it. You're getting a bit of lag, I don't know why, that's, that's weird. Stone slab, and then you want to do a stone stair facing it, upside down. Three more grey concrete. This is going to be a top half stone slab on either side. And then you want to do a dark oak fence gate, I think. Let me try zooming in on that. Um, yeah, I think it's two dark oak fence gates. And you want to do a dark oak. I'm going to sneeze. I need to do this quick. Dark oak trap door on either side. Oh god, it's coming. Right, that's it for that layer. Um, on to the next one. Okay, I sneezed. Um, literally two, two seconds after that clip. Um, come to here. We just want to do this on the previous layer. I must have forgot this in my in my rush to sneeze. Two sign there, two sign there. I don't know if that was done in the previous layer or not. But and then this just needs filling in up until that point. Um, but then that's fine. That's that's sorted. Um, come into here now. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, fill that in just like that. Taking the levers two, two two and two and you want to flip all of those down okay take those um, stairs we used before the polished deep slate ones two of those on either side and then we're going to take the stone slab that's three three cyan three stone three cyan and you want to end up with two sets of singular cyan there like that and then this is going to be three stone stairs now um, facing, oh no actually no, it's three more slabs and then the stairs want to go facing that way with three grey concrete and then the stairs face the opposite way this time and then this is three stone brick walls you want to do the upside down stone stairs here normal stone stairs here and then a top half stone slab with birch sign on either side. Okay. Take the stone brick stairs once more. And that's going to be three. Skip one, do one, and there as well. Like that. You want to take light grey carpet. And we're going to do one of those in each of these gaps here. And also, one, two, and three, two here as well. So one, two, three, I think it was, oh, one, one further back actually. So three there, um, and then two on this one actually. That was a, that was a mess up. <laughs> yeah, you should end up with this basically. Um, all right, so from there now, take grey carpet this time, you want normal grey, one, two and three, three there, and then take the iron trap door, three of these, you want the uh, the stone slab still, you need that, and that's going to be three top half of those, and then also followed by three stone stairs um, facing that way, okay, 
this is going to be stone block one two three and four one two three four one facing i think it's that way and that way take the polished andesite stairs now that's going to be one corner one here two three four five corner one there so like that we need daylight sensors now or detectors whatever you want to call it one two three and four of those and again one two three and four I wouldn't bother um, flicking them to be on or off and just leave them as they are four smooth stone slabs next to those and then finally a iron trap door here and we also need uh, grindstones to represent the the turrets you kind of want to have them facing the opposite way to that so like this but you want it starting from here and then it's two and three where is this hang on ah they're separated by gaps of two never mind so one goes there and then the other one goes here just delete um that one again on this side one there remember gap of two because i didn't <laughs> yeah like that awesome that looks really really cool Right, take the cyan terracotta now. We are going to go to the upside down stairs we did here. And we need to do a lot of cyan to bring it all the way to about, I can say about here for now. And we're going to do another iron trap door, one there on either side. This is going to be stone slabs, top half. We need um, seven of those one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six seven like that bring the cyan up to that level as well do an extra cyan there and then with the stone stairs you're going to want to do one um, facing I, th I think it's that way like that and then cornered like so it's either that or it might be this way yeah I think it's that one actually so forward two of those and then you can just leave that bit empty or you can bring the cyan forward if you want to. It gets covered up anyway. That's a stone block there on either side, followed by a white concrete. Two polished andesite. One cyan. Two polished. And then this is a cyan one and two with a iron bar just to finish that off like that. Looking uh, very, very good. We are quite close to the end now, which is a relief. Um, we haven't done the engines yet, which is something that you know I need to need to do. Um, I will off camera check this bit just to make sure as well, but I am pretty sure it is just like that. Um, coming to I suppose here, let's do the polished anthracite stairs. So grab those from anywhere. And that's one, two, and three. Three here. And then with the cyan, again, three. This is a stone slab. You need the um, the deep slate stairs again. And that's one, two, three, and four. Four here, four cyan in the middle. Polished stone brick wall. All right. Bring the cyan terracotta all the way to the front here, like that. And again, we're going to do the uh, the stone, the stone stairs, the polished andesite, and the polished andesite stairs. All right, this is a set of two polished andesite there. Stone goes here. This is a cyan terracotta just there. This is a white concrete. Two stone one cyan two stone one cyan <laughs> one cyan one stone brick wall two polished andesite two cyan and one polished andesite okay now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side I'll use this opportunity to talk um, a bit more 
So again, as I was saying earlier, the Halo series is coming back with Halo Infinite. Um, again, Halo Wars 2 had no measurements or anything. Halo 5, we already did a series of Halo 5 vehicles and they weren't very popular. Um, so I didn't see it worth you know, remaking any of those. Um, but it is something I'd be interested in coming back to at some point. Because uh, the Halo 5 vehicles, I think, were actually some of the best looking ones. Like the Wraith, while it was really different and not what we used to, it was much better looking than the Banish Wraith, in my opinion. Um, from Halo Infinite, at least. Um, the Halo Wars 2 Wraith is pretty awesome. I like the uh, the Halo 5 Phantom as well. That was a really, really awesome looking one. Um, very... Almost aquatic looking is that the word i think it is yeah it sounds right they looked very organic um the halo 5 vehicles but that also applied to the unsc ones in some cases which i wasn't a massive fan of um but yeah it much better than the halo 4 ones because they were just ripped straight from reach pretty much um, right, so we've got up to there. Let's carry on with this. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, yeah, Halo Wars vehicles, a lot of them have measurements, so they are due a remake at some point. Um, obviously, we did the one-to-one -one Hawk recently. Um, we did the one-to-one -one Hornet. However, that was more based on the Halo 3 model. Um, I think we're done with this anyway. So, yeah, there is a lot to do. A lot of people have asked, like, you know, is Halo still happening? Yeah, it's still happening. It's just, it's been slow recently with you know, the amount of content Halo's had. But with Infinite, you know, definitely I can see it making a comeback. I think that's everything on both of those done. So let's move on up to the next layer. All right, we're going to start this one by coming down to here and just doing three and three with the um, polished deep slate slab. You also want to do another grindstone. Um, just on top of the stone brick walls. Coming back to over here, taking the sign terracotta, that's going to be three of those there and three of those there. We're going to work on the bridge now, well, at least the bottom half of it. Take the grey concrete, that's four, like that. There's a stone block um, just here. Take the stone stairs, one and two and then stone slabs one two and three okay polished and the site full block one there stone is gonna surround it stone stairs sorry one and two three go there and there's gonna be another stone stair one there this is a corner one this is a corner one and then with the stone block that's three um three and three there's going to be two here, two here. Now we're going to take birch buttons and on these first three, three like that, three like this. And birch trap doors, that's two and two. Now on the original model, I did have it so that these were iron trap doors. Now um, I did use a debug stick, I think, recently to make that work. However, not everyone has access to that. So if you can figure out a way to get the iron trap doors on this one and this one to flip um, without it being obvious, you know, I mean, you can obviously put the iron trap doors like here, get rid of that, put a lever there, but you're going to be able to see it from the outside. So it's up to you what you want to do if you, if, you, if you know a way to do it. I'm not very redstone savvy, so I don't really know a way to do it myself, but whatever. Add another stone there and there. That one stays blank. Another two stone, and on the outside of that, these are birch trap doors again, or iron trap doors, whichever you want to do. And next one is going to be another blank stone. This is a cyan terracotta on either side. And then three stone blocks here. Three stone blocks here. This is a oak button this time. One and two. Um, oh, actually, that needs to be on the middle block. Just put that on the middle one. Another white concrete. This is four stone blocks this time. And the oak button is going to go on uh, this one here and that one there. This is a polished andesite full block on either side. A chiseled stone brick. 
and then this is a stone brick wall one and two this one here is going to be a uh, oh i think it's a bottom half uh, polished deep slate slab that goes there like that but if that's wrong i'll, I'll change that in the next layer um right coming to the engines now do another polish and side stairs here and then with the full blocks it's going to be uh, six and then another polished and side stairs like that and that pretty much finishes off the um, actual engines themselves just not the covers sadly so coming to um, this bit here we're going to do upside down stairs so one and two there this is a quartz stairs and uh, next to it and then with the stone stairs again, one and two. Um, do a corner stair just here. And then two, three, quartz stair. With the stone stairs, that's one, two, three, four. Fifth one's going to uh, corner like that. Two smooth stone slabs. Polished and side stair, normal like so. Three stone polished. And then on, on the other side here, stone stairs, one, two, three, four, five. Sixth one is a corner, like that. This is looking awesome, <laughs> if I'm honest. Um, again, on this side, we'll do the same thing. I'll do it in a different order this time. We're going to do the stair like that and then corner it. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Three, that one goes there. And then it's one, two, three, four, corner, two, like that. Um, it was polished, three stone polished on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, corner, and then this one is uh, one, two, three, four, and that one goes there. Cool. So, I think that's it for that layer. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Um, next layer up, let's go. Right, okay, we're going to start off by going to here, taking the smooth stone slabs, one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Coming to this bit here, this is going to be a stair. Full block of um, stone, you need that. One second, there we go. Full block of white concrete and two blocks of stone. If we go a layer up as well, we can finish this off. So stone stairs there, one there as well. Quartz stairs, another stone stairs there. So that's the engine um, armor, I suppose, finished off. We'll uh, do the same thing here. It's so a corner one, remember that. Quartz stairs there. And again, yeah, that's awesome. Really, really cool. Um, <laughs> coming back to over here now. We're going to start with a stone stairs here, corner one. And again. Do a stone full block, one like that, and then two, and then we'll just do uh, two stone slabs if we can find one. There we go. One and two top half like so. Do two cyan there. A polished andesite on either side here. Two stone blocks, pol uh, no, not polished. Stone stairs upside down. And this is a normal stone stairs here and here. Okay, taking the uh, deep slate stairs now, that's one and two, one and two, throw that away for now. Gonna come to here now, iron trap door, one, two, three, one, two, three. Polished uh, deep slate stairs again, just there. Taking the anvils now, we need those, um, where are they? There they are. Two of those here. And then with the cyan, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six, I think. Should be six. Stone slab there, stone slab there. Taking the polished and the side slabs now. That's uh, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. With the stone slabs, that's one and two, one and two. Um, I might have to pause a sec to make sure that this is the right length, otherwise it's going to mess up. All right, one sec. Okay, yeah, it's fine. So take a stone brick stairs, that's going to go here. 
and then take a stone brick slab as well. And that's one, um, two, and three. Two polished andesite slabs on either side here, plus uh, two more stone slabs there. So you should have four in total with the stone slabs. Okay, this is another stone brick stair just here with two stone stairs facing it. Um, if we grab those from over here, like that, and that one there. This is polished underside stairs, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Or is it six? Hang on. I think it's six actually, yeah. So six there, that's the sixth one. And then taking the polished deep slate slab, you're gonna put that after a stone block here. So one stone and then five and six of those. Okay. And that's going to do it for that layer. So let's move on to the it's either the final one or the second to last one. So let's uh, let's do that. All right, this is the final section of the one to ten Paris class figure. I can't believe I'm finally saying it after all this time. And we're going to start by doing polished deep slate stairs facing each other like that. Take the cyan terracotta. That's one, two, three, four, and five. We need stone brick walls again um, from I guess there. We'll grab them. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. And then this is going to be a dark oak sign just on the back. Do a polished andesite full block, one and two. Two more of the cyan. Then this is a stone block and a polished andesite block. Three more stone brick walls on either side again. Also take the dark oak sign. We're going to put that on the front side. Awesome. Now, next layer up, taking the light grey carpets, that's one and two. One there as well, and also taking a wither skeleton skull. Just goes there facing either way. Um, I'd do it that way, maybe. Okay, stone stairs. One goes there. Take the grey concrete now. One and two. There's a cyan terracotta there, stone stairs here, iron trap doors one and two. Next layer up again, one iron trap door there, stone slab, and then the final two blocks of this build, that's going to be a grindstone. And to finish it off, finally, after all this time, um, a skeleton skull just on the back. And that concludes the 1 to 10 Paris class frigate. Finally, after all these years, I'm very, very happy that this has been done. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to do a quick post build showcase now, but then please share this about and give it some love because it's been a long time coming and it's finally here. Yeah, it looks really, really awesome. Um, definitely a really good thing to have as, as a display piece alongside the other frigates that I made and um, if you have those but yeah this is just oh, I'm so happy it's finally done so yes thank you ever so much for watching and um, I hope you are having a good festive period and I will see you all in the next video so yes goodbye thank you very much see ya Hey everyone, thank you for watching the video. On the screen right now you can see a list of the fantastic Patreon supporters who are helping to support the channel. If you want to check out the Patreon and other social medias of mine, you can find them all in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.